Hello and welcome to another flight review video with non-stop travels with Ash. Today's flight is a relatively short hop with Ryanair from Manchester, England to Cork which is in the, the west of Ireland. Today's flight time was about 48 minutes uh, and the plane was a Ryanair 10 year old Boeing 737-800 and the registration today was Echo India Echo X-Ray Fox Rob. So let's jump right in. <laughs> Travels start today at Manchester Airport Terminal 3, uh, the obligatory duty free shop. A uh, couple of shots of uh, the aftershaves that were on sale there while we were all waiting for our flight. Uh, unnecessary spin, but hey ho. And here's a lovely plane Echo India Echo X ray Foxtrot. Looks like I got a little bit lucky on the seat today. Uh, full row to myself, uh, two seats empty next to me, uh, so free of much, a lot of space to spread out and enjoy the flight. And here we are taxiing to runway, what I think is 27 right in Manchester, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but there was some couple of interesting planes landing, A330 from New York, I think that was their Lingus, uh, and I think the Virgin A330 from Orlando had just landed in just before uh, we boarded the plane. Uh, nothing else interesting moving around on the plane. Uh, sorry, on the tarmac uh, at least. A uh, couple of easy jets parked on which I think is Terminal One, and as we taxi onto the runway. I think you can almost make out the tail of that Aer Lingus A330 section in the background. But I think it's going to Terminal 2, that's where all the nice planes go from. Unlike ours, which was Terminal 3. And there's another shot after landing in Cork. Lovely airport here in Cork. Uh, nice and bright and sunny. We decided to take an Uber into town today, so uh, you will see, I think, some of the shots from there. There we go, that's the group, that's six of us who travelled on to Cork for the day. Lovely weather. Uh, we decided to go for a little walk in the park that's in the centre of Cork. Uh, I think it's, it, it overlooks the university uh, in Cork as well as we've seen a couple of people walking past. As you can imagine by this time we had had our fair share of Guinnesses and uh, we discovered that actually in Cork they prefer Beamish to Guinness uh, which was very interesting so uh, we made the most of it and you can imagine we were a bit tipsy at this point in time so the shots might not be as uh, stable as you would like them to be and especially in some of the coming shots you will see uh, we were basically not making sense at all in the video. So hope, hopefully you can persevere, but I promise you there's a nice landing shot at the end of it. Hi guys, so we're at the end of the trip, back at the airport, Cork Airport. Neve, what are your thoughts about Cork? Absolutely smashing. And for anyone who's going to Cork, we watch this video and we can recommend all the smashing places to go. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. <laughs> Security was super quick, it took us... Hmm, probably a maximum of about three minutes uh, straight after that a bit of duty free as you can imagine uh, nothing too special just a small shop uh, and then straight onto the gate unfortunately the flight going back was delayed I think it was about 30 minutes uh, 
but nevertheless it didn't really make too much of a difference to our uh, onward plans as we after the landing uh, we were staying in a hotel in Manchester Airport uh, I can't quite remember the gate number but it was definitely the one uh, the furthest away as it always the case is uh, as you walk straight down there what you can see on the screen turn right and it's the first one on there Eight hundred. Is this gonna be a match though? That's the question. I think. I think so. uh, again, I got lucky on the way back as well, which I couldn't believe my luck. Uh, full road to myself, absolutely amazing. Uh, so I got to stretch out on the way back as well. And after this, I'm just gonna leave you with the landing shots. Uh, finally. Uh, with another picture of the plane as we landed.